All right, we are here at Castle Park in Riverside, California to take a look a little bit at the daytime event of Dia de los Muertos. That's the family-friendly Halloween event that Castle Park offers during weekends uh, from end of September to end of October, and then Castle Dark, the nighttime event. So as it is, we're wrapping up. Actually, we've experienced everything. Uh, we were going to show a lot of the mazes, and, or there's four mazes, but show you the insides of them that no video is allowed inside. So instead, we wanted to give kind of this quick little intro. Uh, we'll talk much more in depth about both events on our podcast in the next couple weeks. You can find that there over at Parks and Cons, iTunes and Stitcher and all that stuff. Uh, but a fun little event. I mean, the prices are super affordable. You start out at $12.99 just for the Castle Dark or for just rides or just for miniature golf, but at maxing out at $17.99 for a day and you can experience all three of those things. Uh, so the uh, the Dia de los Muertos stuff in the daytime for the, for the kids, Castle Dark for the adults, all of it fits uh, into kind of just a very cheap structure there. Uh, the mazes are not a ton, but uh, in terms of the size of them, uh, the scope, the scenic and all of that, but definitely there's some great actors here going all out, lots of fun little scares, and definitely a step up in just even the design of the mazes, the sound design throughout the park, much better, more fog in use and things like that. So some fun little things to check out this year at Castle Dark. So we're gonna go ahead and take you inside. We'll start out showing you some of the daytime events, get a little bit of a feel for that, and then we'll go into the nighttime stuff of Castle Dark. Um, we always recommend just checking out Castle Park on its own. Uh, so while Castle Dark might not be the type of event that we would actually you know, say, hey, drive out from LA or San Diego or something like that, we do think Castle Park is worth checking out. So there's a lot of cool nods to theme park history in there. Bud Hurlbutt and his contributions to Knott's Ferry Farm, things like that. There's a lot of fun things just to see in the park on its own. And Ghost Blasters, which is available on Saturdays and Sundays, is a really fun little dark ride shooting game uh, in the arcade. A lot of fun there. So we'll show you uh, some video of that as well in this. Uh, so go ahead, sit back, enjoy a little bit of the feel for what we have at Castle Park today, and then head over to our podcast if you want to hear more about it.